I'm a question we get is, what do I do with my skin after I lose weight? We're seeing a lot of people getting really invested in losing weight and becoming healthier. And the concern is some saggy skin. So we talk about that in different body areas because different body areas have different options. So let's first talk about the face. If you lose fat, there's a possibility you'll lose, you'll have had some fat in your face, you lose some fat in your face. And the best way to tighten the skin is actually just restoring the volume. That's some place that you want to have volume at versus say, maybe on your stomach or something. So we restore the volume with filler. We do something called the magic lift to lift things up. And if that's not enough, we do something called threads and threads are put in with a, a basically a needle in a syringe and the threads slide down, grab the jowls and pull it up. So threads are a good option. These are lifting threads to lift the mid and lower face and neck. The next step after that would be all therapy, which is an ultrasound procedure. There are other options as well. We have something called 4D facial with a laser and we've used thermage in the bath, but all therapy is most suitable for the mid and lower face after weight loss. And that's a procedure that uses high intensity focus ultrasound that causes an injury in the area where we would do a facelift to cause the face to lift. And then lastly would be a surgical facelift. Now let's talk about like the arms or over the knees with some crepey skin. There's a few options for that as well. One is using something to increase the thickness of the skin. And we do something called biostimulation with a bone paste or something called radius, which the chemical name is calcium hydroxyapatate. This is thinned out. We call it hyperluted and placed underneath the skin. And it causes biostimulation when the skin gets thicker, which causes it to tighten up. We might combine that with all therapy, all high intensity focus ultrasound as well get tightening of crepey skin. Same thing's done over the knees or in the inner arms. Now for the abdomen, somebody might have lost weight and have some laxities of the abdominal skin. The classic solution for that is a, is a tummy tuck. That's a surgery. And for the person that doesn't want a tummy tuck, sometimes there are no options and you just have to live with it. And sometimes we could do some energy-based procedures such as all therapy or a uh, laser-based procedure or radiofrequency-based procedure to get some lifting. Just don't see great results in the abdomen. If there's some crepey skin around the na navel, works decent. But when the skin is lax and there's some hanging skin, really surgery is the best option. So going from minor crepey skin, loss of volume in your face to a saggy abdomen, there's different options based on an evaluation with your medical provider and the options that we have available or where we can refer you to. In some cases, we refer you to our surgical department to do a tummy tuck or a facelift. In many cases, we can do it non-surgical options, which might include some filler to restore volume or to thicken the skin, some energy-based devices to cause lifting of the tissues and even threads that can lift things up mechanically. Thank you very much.